Aquarius signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Okay, your love life is about to take a huge turning point. Wow. I'm seeing a huge change in direction, a huge change in energies as well. The Wheel of Fortune is a destiny card. It's a card of destiny. It's a card of fate, karma, soulmates, you know, making decisive decisions, decisive moments, defining moments in our lives. It's a cycle of life, ups and downs, right? It's fate, it's fortune, it's chance. So some of you, I feel like these um, these changes that are about to come into your life, especially in terms of love and romance, are definitely for your greater good, okay? Um, but you need to be reminded, not all change is always welcome, right? Because it can be scary. It can, it's exciting, but for a lot of people, it is scary because it, it's something that's unfamiliar and what people are not necessarily familiar with can frighten them it can change them but it can scare them but you need to understand that you know there's a lot of changes upcoming changes and um, new cycles beginnings and endings coming for you and that is leading you to your destiny okay um, some of these changes are probably not going to be welcomed by all of you. I'm seeing that some of you are going to be cutting ties with certain people in your life. Because I feel like there are certain people that are going to take an exit from your life. So that they could create a new room and more space in your life. So that you could welcome uh, potentially new energy. Someone that you're more, you know, compatible with. Someone that is in your destiny. That is interwoven, in, interwoven into your destiny. So... The universe has a plan for you, even if you don't necessarily see it at this particular point in time, even if you don't necessarily, you know, if it's not clear to you. But I do feel like you have to learn to accept, you know, the many changes that are coming your way, even if it's going to feel a little uncomfortable or not all that welcoming. You've got, you know, you've got people that are taking an exit from your life. You've got situations that are really complicated and very difficult and you know they're going to come to an end because the expiration date on that connection is up or you know there are certain people or certain things in your life that are just no longer serving its purpose they're no longer serving its purpose so um you know things may end for you doors may close so that new doors may open things may end so that new beginnings may happen someone takes an exit from your life so that someone new can enter you have to be very accepting and welcoming of all these changes because essentially it is all leading you to your destiny it's leading you the wrong one is going to lead you to the right one you know clo a closed door is going to lead to an open window which is then going to lead to your destiny you know you get my drift like everything here is interwoven into your destiny do not resist it because ultimately what you're resisting here you're only delaying fate and you're only d delaying destiny here um some of you, it could be like a reminder for you to start making different decisions and for you to start being, start being a little bit more alignment, in alignment with your decisions, okay? So for example, because the suit of cups rules the emotional realm, right? Some of you have been making decision, decisions or choices that ulti ultimately are not aligned with your intuition. You're kind of ignoring your intuition or you're kind of like discounting it, dismissing it, right? Um, stop doing that. Because it's going to lead to a breakup. It will lead, you know, it won't lead you to where it is that you need to go. Listen to your intuition because that's going to be the guiding light to your destiny here. Um, 
a lot of positive changes to me which indicate that some of you are taking the next step in your relationship you could be entering for those of you coupled up you could be entering a new phase with your partner so you could be moving in with them you could be getting engaged getting married you could be talking about entering yeah, the next stage of a relationship you know um, engagement marriage having children buying a home together possibly going into some sort of joint venture project or a business project of some sort um, you and your partner could be shaking things up in your relationship um, you know taking on some much needed changes maybe your relationship is getting a little bit you know st st uh, stagnated so you're inviting um, some changes into your life here you have a lot of good luck and good fortune coming in love so now's the time to really put yourself out there especially if you're single because I do feel like you're going to be meeting new people, people that are in your energy field, people that are responding to your vibrational frequency here. There's an opportunity for you to possibly meet someone very, um, someone who's very suitable, very romantically compatible, someone who's very in alignment with, you know, who shares very similar goals and values such as yourself. It, because the wheel of card is the wheel of fortune card is a card of destiny as well it can signify you know soulmates so if you are single you potentially could be meeting your soon or if you are in a relationship it could be reaffirming to you that indeed it is a soulmate relationship and you know it may indicate that you and your partner are meant to be so um there's that if some of you have been looking to make a change whether you've been considering a career change or making a move here now's a good time to do so because i feel like your the wheel of fortune is a good indicator of changes coming so take advantage of that energy okay speaking of um events here you've got the seven of swords here now some of you i feel like this is taking a bit of a different turn right but some of you i feel like are in a situation that isn't all that truthful and maybe this is why the cards are hinting that you have to make a change you have to do something different here right um, because to me this is an indicator of seven of swords is an indicator of you know of deception of betrayal of trickery you know doing trying to get away with something acting strategic as well um it could be you you might be trying to get away with something and you know you could be trying to sneak around someone's back hoping that's not going to go detected it will eventually you will get caught someone might ca catch you you know doing the wrong thing you might get caught in the deed or your guilty conscience is going to catch up to you so you know it, it depends which side you're on if you're the one that's trying to get away with something if you're the one that's being a little bit cunning and deceptive at the end of the day you know when your head hits the pillow at night you know that you're doing the wrong thing and eventually sooner or later your guilty conscience is going to clear up uh, catch up to you so um if you think you're going to get away with it I feel like someone, you know, the situation is going to be exposed and you're going to risk a lot of embarrassment, a lot of humiliation and a lot of, you know, negative feelings. So it's best that you come forward with the truth. It's best that you, whoever it is that you're doing this to, you come forward, you come clean to this person and essentially you'll be helping yourself in the process as well. For others of you, you could find out that there is someone here who's trying to cover up and this person is going to go into a tremendous tremendous amount of effort trying to cover up doing something that they shouldn't be doing they could be sneaking behind your back they could be cheating they could be lying you know they, they, this is this is also like betrayal so you might not be aware of their lies and their deception and you might be trusting someone who turns out to be who turns out to be you know very untrustworthy and someone who turns out to be um behaving in a very sneaky way so listen to your intuition when something doesn't feel right or when something doesn't necessarily add up Also, I do feel like with this person, I just want to mention that with this person's energy, I think be careful because I think it's someone who maybe has lied to you in the past or someone who you know has cheated or betrayed your trust uh, in the past. And the thing is, don't make excuses for this person, okay? Because you have to know that their actions are deliberate. Because 
they know what they're doing is wrong. Otherwise, they wouldn't be sneaking around about it, right? They don't want to get caught because they know, after all, they're doing the right thing. So when and if, you know, you do eventually, you will, the truth always comes to the surface. When you find out about this person, okay, or maybe you already have, it suggests to me that do not, you know, there was, yeah, there is malicious intent or motivation behind it because this person, you know, they lied to you. They know that what they're doing is the wrong thing, but they're doing it anyways. So don't make, here's the thing, do not make excuses for this person they did it before they'll do it again and if you let them you know if you let them get away they'll they'll do it again to you or to someone else you know sometimes you just have to face what has to be faced or this person has to face what has to be faced here and that's the truth you know this could also be an energy of you deceiving yourself into tricking yourself into believe that something is good for you even though it isn't, or someone is good for you, even though they're not. So, it, you know, it, it's an attempt, it could be that you're attempting to fool yourself about a certain situation, about a certain person here. Confront your situation or confront this person head on. Because as, you know, because it's a card of deceit, there may be secrets that are kept hidden from you, or that there may be a secret that you're keeping, a dark secret you're keeping, that you're hoping that, you know, it won't get revealed. But holding on to that secret is only you holding on to all the positive, negative, sorry, all the positive, I mean, negative energies associated with that. Because it's bringing you tension, it's bringing you stress, it's bringing you guilt, and you don't need that. It's the wrong thing. Whilst confessing the secret to this person might be very scary and horrifying, it'll be very liberating. It will free you from the negative emotions. Okay, the truth will set you free. And this, whether it's you or this person, you know, first, if it's this person that's lying, you know, first forgive yourself and then forgive that person. You'll feel, trust me, you'll feel a lot lighter about it as opposed to feeling, you know, weighed down by all this negative energy. Um, and if it's you, I think it's just getting to a point, if you're the one holding on to the secret, where you no longer want to keep up the charade here. You know, a lot of you, I feel like, you know, you're holding on to something and you want to let it go and now's a good time to do it now's a you know any time's a good time to tell the truth right okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel for those of you interested in a personalized reading with myself please feel free to inquire bye